What's up, y'all? It's Brandon from IC Gaming, and uh, today we're back with the uh, Let's Build series, working on the uh, Archimedes class uh, frigate slash, I guess maybe carriers, what some might call it. Um, so, slight confession time, okay? I've been working on a few iterations of this, playing around with some ideas for it, like you know what might be possible with it. Um, and that's, that is legitimately what I've been doing the last, um, basically month that I haven't really been, uh, posting any videos. Um, and I may have gone just a little bit overboard on them. Uh, <laughs> not all of these are completely functioning ships, but, um, I, I've settled on enough parts of the design that I actually feel comfortable, um, doing a quick run through of some of the cool features of each of these. And uh, basically going over, uh, well, showing you guys what I'm definitely going to be putting in the final version. So, uh, starting with this one right here, I experimented with possibly putting some rail guns on the sides, um, did a little bit of uh, weaponry stuff, uh, changed up the greebling a little bit on the front here. Honestly, I think it looks pretty cool as far as armor goes, and I've been copying some of these pieces over to the others. I didn't really do much in the way of the interior on this one, but I did figure out that the hangar was not going to work out very well just because, um, well, conveyors. Conveyors need to go through here, and although I thought, well, I know I said, you know, I don't mind them going through the hangar, and I really don't. I didn't mean like this. Um, this just looks kind of bad, to be honest. So, that's not going to work for me. But, um, suffice it to say, the hangar can't really go there. So all future iterations after that, move the hangar to the front. Another cool one was uh, the idea of putting the server room down here. Uh, the only problem with putting the server room down here in this exact configuration um, is it's a little bit off-center because it's like five wide and this is six wide, so I had to do some modifications. This style of engineering bay. Oh yeah. Oh, this is this right here is very nice. By the way, just to quickly walk through uh, the server room. Um, the other feature I think I'm actually going to pull from these two that I didn't put on the last one over here is this style of um, this style of bridge. Honestly, it's very easy to implement. It's not particularly complicated. It works out pretty well on the inside. Um, and uh, so yeah, I, I'm, I think I'm going to go with this one in the final version. However, one of the features that I'm going to be putting in today, um, actually the big one I'm going to be putting in today, because it's the only one I've definitely picked out, is going to be this little oxygen generator uh, cover here. So, uh, just to show you guys what it looks like when it's all closed up, um, I believe I can grab this group right here, hit reverse. And um, you can see there's, uh, as far as I'm aware, as far as I'm aware, um, there's no clang going on here. It reverses back, uh, covers all the holes completely perfectly. This one I was mostly focused on the interior. Uh, as you can see, it's got you know labels everywhere, uh, slightly better flow down to the uh, engineering compartment, so I might be picking up a little bit of that. Something similar to that is what I'll be drawing some uh, interior design uh, inspiration from. Now on to the last one. This one I was mostly looking at the armor and the uh, the thrusters. I've been using a style thrusters that was just to me after the uh, last video. Um, I'll put the name of the guy who suggested it on Discord um, up on the screen during editing because I'm forgetting it as I'm recording. Uh, but I basically took that idea and slightly modified it to create, I guess, my own variation of it. All right, so let's grab a blueprint. Pop it down, and take care of some of the uh, modifications I need to make. First of all, um, I got I decided to get rid of this uh, pass-through right here, just because, one, I'm not entirely sure how on earth I'm going to lift stuff up through there, and I definitely don't want to keep this thing hovering any longer than I have to at all. Um, so that is completely out. I'm also getting rid of all the stuff in the hangar back here. So give me a second to delete all this. There we go. Okay. Hangar's gone. Uh, pass through's gone. And uh, I also need to get rid of all the production stuff in here. And the production blocks are gone. 
and we are ready to start on the final version of some of these pieces that I've been uh, slowly putting together. So I think I'm going to start with the one that I know I'm going to do, which is the cover that I put together. So um, let's see, I think first thing I need to do is get rid of these and these and replace them with conveyor blocks so that I can conveyor up my um, O2H2 generators. And by the way, I have I really wanted to put these on the ship for a couple of reasons. One, because my breathing is actually going to use up about 11 oxygen generators for, yeah, O2H, sorry, 11 oxygen generators worth of oxygen at a time. Um, so having these is going to cut down on the ice that I'm going to have to bring with me to supply myself with oxygen, especially I go to some place like Mars. Um, so that's kind of a big deal for me. Okay, now that those are placed, uh, let's grab some pistons. Uh, turn off mirroring, and I believe it is starting from the second to the end. Let me go ahead and open this one up just to get an idea. Okay. Um, okay, so apparently there are some odd things with those pistons, um, but I think that's fairly normal for subgrids. Okay, so these are starting on the second from the edge. So, like right about here. And they're going to be pointed at the opposite direction, like so. Dog's going nuts. Okay, uh, for the next part, this is gonna get a little bit, a uh, little bit wonky. Uh, but the edge of the piston is actually connected sideways to this cover um, by, I believe, this second block right here. So from there, we're gonna go and make a two by four grid of these half light armor blocks. I'm just gonna actually let's go ahead and reverse these pistons. Oh, <laughs> completely forgot about something. Kind of need to power the grid first. Minor detail. Okay, so that problem's taken care of. Let's go ahead. And... There we go. Okay, I was just being silly. All right, then we grab this thing, and this this time I actually will be back as soon as I got it. And sorry about that, but I completely lost my train of thought. Um, dog decided to be uh, naughty, so uh, yeah, that looks right. And I think I was about to put this on. Yeah, like so. I think that is also mirrored up on this side as well. Ow. And boom, like so. Alright. So, I also believe that there are a few modifications to this thing that we gotta make. Um, I don't believe I can actually put this on here because it does sort of interfere with this block right here. Um, but the half light armor block slides right underneath that one, no problem. And then I can also put a light armor slope 2x1x1 two by one by one tip, which will slide right under, well, yeah, and that'll slide right under this absolutely no problem whatsoever as well. Um, as for the inside of this, uh, I want to make sure to get this right now because this is, well, actually no. I need to, okay, there's a specific order of operations for the inside. I'll get to that in a second. Let me get the outside first. Okay, so on the outside, I need a 2x1x1 by one by one base, a tip, and another tip. Okay, cool. So we got a base, a tip, and another tip. And I'll come back when I have all these mirrored up. Alright, so they're all mirrored up. Yep. And the last part of the outside that I can do is this bit right here, which is going to be two 
uh, half line armor blocks, and then a uh, half slope light armor block. So it's gonna go like this, and this, and this right here. And what these are going to do is actually cover the piston when it's fully closed. Um, by the way, this is not designed to be armoring. Honestly, it's just purely for aesthetics. Um, but that's a good enough reason to do anything in Space Engineers. It looks cool. Let's do it. All right. Just one more. There we go. All right. So that's all. That's all done. And the last part I can actually do from memory because the order itself doesn't matter all that much. So we're just going to take some of these light armor half corner blocks and put them down in a pattern here. I don't know if you can do like a sawtooth pattern, but I prefer to do uh, this pattern here. One, because I know it works, and uh, two, because it looks kind of interesting. Like, uh, I don't know, like a missile silo hatch. So, I mean, I guess you could almost, you could definitely use it for like a missile silo type thing. All right, so I think that is absolutely everything we could possibly do with it open. Oh, oh, I uh, I actually forgot one slab right there. Then can I? Yes, I can put in the uh, little tip right there as well. Okay, now that's everything. Let's grab this control panel, grab the pistons, hit reverse. Um, with them closed, I can now actually access these squares on the outside. No problem. Let's go like so. So let's go ahead and reverse. And I'm going to set their minimum distance to 2 point, let's say, 3.5 meters. Because that will also read as 2.3. Um, and the reason for that is they can actually close further than I have them set to. But they can't quite close a whole block closer. Okay, so there is a visible seam there. Minimum distance. 2.33. And I don't... I can't actually see the seam where it is. So that, I believe, is absolutely perfect. All right, now that we got that cover in, uh, the other thing I want to do today is get these, uh, well, these nacelle designs over here. So uh, I'm going to do a little bit of prep work just to make sure we have the uh, previous nacelle stuff off and to make sure we're going to be connected up when we're done. All right, so uh, the prep work was uh, fairly simple. Just delete all the stuff around and make sure it is still connected by at least one strut. Um, that straw will probably get deleted later, but for now, this is going to be just fine. So, uh, the basic, the basic part of this design, and, uh, actually, let me set up a quick symmetry here, so I only have to do this once. Uh, the basic design involves bringing a full block line, one, I believe, yes, one beyond, um, the lip of this thruster, or the edge of the thruster. And then taking a light armor slope 2x1x1 by one by one base and putting it on the end like so. Uh, then we're going to do the same thing on the top. So bring the line out. And like so. And then on the bottom as well. Like I believe so. All right, now, the original design as it was uh, given to me basically just has you round this part out right here and do a little internal thing. But the change to the design is to bring part of it one block in. So, um, the next thing I'm going to do is take some of these light armor sloped corners and put them around the block like so. Which... Yep, like that, and like that. And I'll worry about the inside uh, a little bit later because that's going to get a little bit weird. Um, but then, you can see that there is a perfect spot for some of these 
light armor corner, 2x1x1 two by one by one tips, like so. And uh, then it's time to basically just bring this line back. And by the way, I'm giving you guys the, uh, the way I came up with the design, not necessarily the most efficient way to get to the design, because honestly, it's the easiest way to think about doing it. To fill in these gaps, uh, we can use half slope light armor blocks, like so, and just do it again on the top. Five clicks and we have it done on both sides, top and bottom, well, ten clicks for top and bottom. And that is, I guess you could call it, the basic shell of it. So, for the next layer, because I honestly think of it in layers, uh, I'm going to put a light armor slope 2x1x1 by one by one tip on the top, side, and the bottom, like so. And then grab the half light armor blocks, and extend those lines down the middle. Just like this. Um, another benefit of doing it like this, so you guys can see the different uh, layers of it, is, you know what, maybe you think, hey, I kind of like how that layer looks, I didn't like uh, the next part of it that you did, well, now you know how to get to that layer. Alright, so, with that bit done, it's time to armor up the top bit of this. So, like, this would actually be the layer that I would put down in, like, heavy armor, um, if I was uh, planning on using heavy armor at all. Um... And the reason being, this is the part that I would expect to take the hardest beating, or to take the worst beating when someone's targeting your engines. So, top, bottom, like so. 45 between them, like so. And then the tips, like this. Top, and bottom. And I'm not actually going to be putting on the bottom part of it because I'm trying to make, um, I'm trying to give the ship a more top heavy aesthetic and this fits a little bit better. Okay, and for my final trick on this one, I'm going to create these bands. So I'm actually going to go one in, two in, leaving a three space in the middle. So these are going to be whole light armor blocks. And these bits, I believe, are going to be Light armor salute. Looks like I'm ad-libbing on this design, as uh, you might know I tend to do a lot of. Alright, so. Those are definites. And if I'm trying to go one further out, I think the 2 by one by one base would probably be the best bet right here. Let me snoop it up like that. A little bit across like that, and yeah, I think that looks a little bit more natural. Okay, bring that out like so. Want to make sure to connect it so we have a connection point back to the main hull, and grab these, bring these out some more, and for now I'm just gonna put the. Uh, light armor slopes up here and then uh, bring this part right here up so the one part I neglected was the interior of this um, so that is going to be these light armor inverted corner 2 by one by one tips alright and you're gonna place them like this around the exterior of it um, obviously we would actually have one up there I think I can safely place uh, those tips, at least for the outside. I'm sorry, those sloped corners. So that would be, I think, this one right here. And this one right here. That should allow us to place the rest of our interior blocks. I think. Uh, I haven't done it like this where I have to leave one side open. Uh, the reason I'm trying to do that this time is to make it, well, I'm thinking it might be possible to give, like, interior walkway access to these nacelles, which would be really freaking cool if I could do it. Um, I just don't exactly know how I'm going to do it. Okay, so with those done, 
Then we need some light armor slope 2x1x1 by one by one tips, like this. And one more. Is that how I did that? Yeah, that's how I did that. Okay, cool. Alright, and then just a couple of uh, little decorative bits. Uh, so I decided to go with diagonal windows. Um, I pointed them sideways. This one to give more visibility sideways, but I don't know. Something about that just isn't sitting right with me, so I'm going to try vertical. If I change anything about this design, it's going to be these uh, diagonal windows, but honestly, they look pretty cool, so I don't know why I would. Alright, and then last thing is going to be lights, so we're going to grab some corner lights. And these are basically going to be like running lights slash uh, this is the danger end if it happens to be turned off kind of lights. And I think, oh yeah, the other running lights, like actual running lights uh, with the interior lights. Just drop a couple of those around and again I'm leaving the interior as open as I possibly can to allow for uh, potential internal stuff. And I think... I think that's going to do it for there. Uh, a couple more changes I want to make. Um, a Greeble idea uh, suggested to me by uh, the same person on Discord that suggested the nacelle design. Again, uh, it is going up on the screen afterwards because I am blanking right now. Again, I am sorry. Straight up sorry. You did you, know, you did a great job with that uh, Greeble design. Uh, was to bring it up and then corner it in like this. I did find that these were the most convenient places I had, at least on the front, for uh, turret mounts, so that's what they're going to be. The only other thing that I think I missed was I kind of want to put these half light armor blocks on the edges here, and yes we will test them in just a second to make sure they actually work for this, uh, but then we can bring it down like so and cover those um, airtight hanger doors, make it look a little pretty. I guess the last bit that I can kind of do right now, uh, without really, um, why am I working in battered? I guess I might have, uh, I guess I must have thrown some paint on there and not realized it. Okay, so the last bit I guess I can kind of do without potentially ruining anything. So I'm going to be copying this uh, bridge design here. It's going to be slopes like so. All right. Let's grab the line over slopes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, sweet. That lines up perfectly with that. Get rid of that. And put back the two by one by one tip. Boom. There we go. All right. Bring back the light armor blocks. Drop it in like so. And then this, uh, this little indented slope on the side. Uh, it's going to start one, two from the back. And it's going to actually be this two by one by one base. So one, two from the back. And then just like so. All the way forward. Then on the front side, it's literally just going to be three pieces of glass across with lights on the sides. Uh, you can actually put these pieces of glass in right now. Uh, new big deal, like so. They just go right on the outside like that. Uh, the two lights are both uh, aesthetic and functional. I actually want normal corner lights. They provide another attachment point for the glass on the outside and, uh, well, the aesthetic part is they look kind of interesting. Then, we're gonna make a full block and then a two by one by one base for the back side. Starting right about here? Yeah, yeah, there. And then the 2 by one by one base. Like so. And for this bit right here, we're just going to put in a 2 by one by one base, the corner. And then I think we're ready for the top, which is another set of 2 by one by one slope bases. Like this. With the front, 
if I'm recalling it correctly, being these two by one by one base corners again. Then we grab our light armor slopes, slope them down, bring them across, and we got the front of it. Uh, the top is just going to be full light armor blocks, and then the back is just going to be sloped down with, it looks like, um, these uh, these corners right here. So I think I can manage that. We just go to across, do a little more. There we go. I did one too many right here, no big. Okay. And then it goes like this one, then the big one. Light armor sloped corner. Sloped corner, light armor tip. And then actually do one more, oh, one too many on that one. Two by one by one base, two by one by one tip there. And so we're gonna do, you know, let's experiment a little bit. Ah! Don't know what I did, but it ain't what I wanted. Okay. Now there's that. Wow. There we go. Okay, does that look any better? That might actually look okay once I have a door in the back. And then that will give me door, hallway, or maybe hallway, then door, then hallway again, then another door, then the center line right here. Should probably have thought about this before I did all that, but that control station's gotta go. I'm gonna burrow my way through here. And then Put an interior wall block sideways. Did I say interior? Interior. <laughs> ah. Stupid mouse being touchy. Alright. Then I can put the control station in. Like so. And then the lights are just uh, double corner lights like this. Go around like so. And that's pretty much all you need right there. This is going to be a door right here. Alright. Uh, I guess we can put in the door right now. Um, kind of interesting to have an offset door on the outside. How does that look? Oh, we actually have to offset. Well, yeah, no, that's going to look kind of weird. Okay, so let's have the sliding door here. Or, actually, let's try out the passage idea. Ooh, I like this. Uh, I am planning on using the uh, the new passage blocks throughout, so starting now is not a bad idea. So go like there, and then a sliding door, and then another passage like so. And then delete that, put in a standard light armor block, and a sliding door. Based on that one. Alright. And that looks actually really cool. And you know, we got some room to do things like back here if we want to do some vent stuff. Um, no idea yet, we'll figure that out later. Um, but yeah. This is starting to come, this is starting to really come together. One quick thing, um, I got a comment that people would like to see a coat of paint on this thing. Uh, it is going to be a very quick one. At least the base coat is going to be battered dark gray. So let's go ahead, drop it in here, color the whole thing. Uh, forgot these grids, forgot these grids. Color, color. Whew, okay. So that is going to kind of make it hard to work on, so I'm probably going to recolor it later. Um, but uh, real quick, adding this style of coloring over here, because this was a little too much yellow. Um, let's make sure we get the... Uh, make sure we get at least the uh, teeth colored up. Uh, let's get the interior of the ribs colored up. And I guess the back ribs colored up as well. So, let's draw a circle. Uh, whoops. 
No big. And uh, two more. I'll go back and repaint those in a minute. Just try and get the color on here real fast because I thought it'd be ending the episode because whoops. Uh, and then color these. And then color the stripes alternately. Get a interesting little color job when we're done. And they're all closed up. And I guess color these as well. There we go. Grab these outsides. One over here. Grab that. Grab that. Done. All right. And uh, okay. Uh, if we're coloring, we're gonna color. Grab the white and let's do. I guess two double stripes along the front right here and I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do for this bottom part yet but I guess we can do some colored well, some double stripes right here um, and screw it we'll we'll do racing stripes along the top right here all right grab the dark gray go back and fix mistakes before someone calls me out on them because I know someone will apparently people got really into this uh, the last time I did a bit on it uh, let's also go ahead and color up this stripe right here oh wrong color or wrong button there we go and also color up this right down the side over here there we go that should be a lot more subtle and of course I forgot the nacelle so let's go ahead and grab the light gray option and I'm just gonna color like this middle bit right here light gray there we go and grab this block there. And hopefully that should be a decent little facelift for the thumbnail. Back is probably going to get some more yellow. Uh, front's looking okay. This bit here needs to be in light gray, not dark gray. And... Yeah. All right. So I think that's going to do it for the painting. That's going to do it for the design. That's going to do it for the episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. And uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, if you don't want to miss the uh, the next video in this, uh, this series of me desperately trying to build a giant effing ship that looks good and will eventually <laughs> function well. Again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all later.